let's quickly go back over our coordinates, okay? I'm gonna put my, in my key over here, I've got my diamond ring, since my island was Wedding Island, and I'm gonna put it right here, okay? Who would like to try and review and tell me what coordinate my diamond ring is? Immaculata. C3. C3, let's check her. One, two, three. All right, good job. X marks the spot. Okay. A lot of the after school lessons that we work on, they incorporate a lot of different areas. This one in particular, I was able to work on obviously XY coordinates. Turn it off real quick so that I can draw it and you guys can. I think this is a great after school activity because it's not your typical drill and kill, pencil to paper, it's application. And then being able to actually apply their knowledge of coordinates and practice. Okay, if I want to go take a swim, where am I going to want to go? How will I get there, Timothy? E5. E5, oh great. How did you know where to look, Timothy? I used the X, uh -huh. left to right, I'll go up, okay. where the Y is, and da da da. How did you know this was the lake? Look in the key. In the key, all right. So E, one, two, three, four, five. All right. At the beginning of the lesson, they actually created their own island. They could keep their island within the grid. In a key, they had to create five characteristics of their island. My map is okay. track island because I like running track. And on my key, I made a resting pond. So after you run, you could go rest there. And I made a sports bar where people hang out. I made little houses around because I didn't want my island to be empty. All of you have already made your treasure islands, okay? So let's go ahead and get our treasure islands out, all the ones you made, okay? Looks kind of like mine. And I'm going to give each of you a pack of treasures. They were given a piece of candy and they were to place it on their grid and inside their island. And they would have to guess each other's coordinates in order to find out where the treasure was on the island. Let's put our barriers up. We can't let our neighbors see our secret treasure place, okay? What are we gonna do with our treasure? Put it on the, uh, put it on one of our coordinates. You're gonna put it on one of your coordinates, okay? It should take up two boxes. Mm -hmm. Far. B five. Nope. B five. Is that close? Not really. Ah. No. See, what see. Mm -mm. Is this what he gave? No. Okay. Is this E2? I like that you had to pay attention, like you had to get some real listen, because if they told you that you were closer, then you had to be like, okay, should I go this way or should I go that way? Should I go up or down? So did he say you were close? C3. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm in the area. You're in the area. Okay. G4. Yep. You got it. Yes. You got it? Okay, what, how come you didn't come over here to A or B or C or D? Because he said I was close and I was in the area, so I just stayed over here. You just stayed in that one area. Okay. C4. C4. No. Okay, what were some of the strategies you had to use to find your treasure, Timothy. See, I use the the compass way and uh, the close thingy. Okay, can you show? What did you mean the compass way? North, east, west, and south. North. Oh, so y'all were saying no, go north, go east. Yes. So you were helping your point. Okay, that's a good strategy. Using those map skills, excellent. North, what did you use? We used the clues. You used your clues. Okay, mm -hmm. which what kind of clues did you use? Like if I said. Um, like, if I said E2 and she said it was close, I'll stay around that number. Okay. All right. Anybody else choose something? We used the point strategy. Like, every time you said the one, you would put a point on it, and if it wasn't right, you would just keep going. If you say you got closer, you just keep going around that area. Okay, so uh, you, you, you marked them on your chart every time you got near it, and so whenever you got closer, you knew, or if you got further away, you knew if you needed to go back up in one direction. Excellent. A lot of times, they don't realize that they are problem solving. And when they verbalize it, they start to realize like, oh, I get what I was doing. I was actually thinking and applying the skills that I've learned. And then they'll hear it from another student and be able to say, oh, well, I did the same thing. And they're able to realize, I really am thinking and using something. All right, so we all remember our coordinates really well, right? Yeah. All right. I like doing activities where we get to talk and have fun. 
and learn at the same time. You can play this at home. You can do this with, you know, during advisory time if you want and practice as long as you need it. All you need is some grid paper and you can make your own island and do your own little treasure game.